Hey everyone, this is Sean Yurt Curran. You've heard me on WYAB on the radio, and you can also catch me on the new Hulu series, Death in the Dorm, Season 2. I just wanted to introduce you all to my law firm, the Yurt Curran Law Firm. I'm located over in Fondren on Mill Street in Jackson, Mississippi. I've got over 18 years of law practice under my belt, including a decade as a felony prosecutor in Hines County and at the Mississippi Attorney General's office. I spent all those years putting bad guys away. Now let me help keep you out. You can call me anytime at 601-906-909 for a consultation or just if you want to talk about something about your case. I'm committed to helping you navigate the complexities of the legal system, which I know can be difficult and confusing and downright scary at times. Let me help you use my experience to explain the system to you and how it works and how I can best help you. You can call me again at 601-906-9094 to discuss any of this and any of your worries. Trust me to handle your defense where it is going to be my priority and your future will be my focus. It's more than a rumor but I'm not prepared to tell y'all names yet. So we're going to stir a little tea this morning, a little yeah. old-fashioned tea. So there's a there was a party at a legendary restaurant here in the Tri-County area. Yeah. Okay. I, th- I think we'll, we'll say that. Everyone's heard of it. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone's heard of it. We're not going to tell you which one it is. Um, it, the off chance this ain't true. Yeah. I want to, I want to layer this with a big, a big layer of allegedly. But some lobbyists and some legislatures – we're having a little uh, party there in a back room. And there was a very, very attractive waitress. And somewhere in along the way, if I hear the story correct, they, the lobbyists talked the waitress into letting them do body shots off of her. Right. That's, what, that's the way I, the story was related to me as well. In exchange for a Louis Vuitton purse. That's something. what I heard, yeah. It's in exchange for a Louis Vuitton purse. Yeah. And she wasn't. She was naked too. I think. Yeah. Part of it. Well, yeah. I mean, that's typically the way body, body shots. Well, go. I don't know. Sometimes you have your shirt off or something. Yeah. You know. So <clears throat> anyway, she um, and she, she get the guy orders the purse. The lobbyist orders the purse. Yeah. And then I guess he's got to explain to his boss how this charge came up on the Amex or whatever. And that's Sean. Unless you tell the rest of it. Yeah, I heard that. Uh, yeah, heard, that part I heard, and I heard that you, something about explaining about fraud on the card. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I'd heard. Yeah, that, trying, that a, literally trying to charge it to the game. That, yeah, that's right. That's, that's the way it was related to me. Now, whether this is true, I don't know. I'm not stating it as material fact. I'm yeah. just saying it's it's a uh, it's a rumor that's out there that everyone that I know and Clay and all of us have heard many times related to us by many different people so, all over the state. It's kind of be uh, it's kind of to be the the worst kept secret out there. So. Little little did I know. That I had as much in common with lobbyists and legislatures as uh now I've never bought somebody a purse to do body shots, but I I, I will say that I mean on a nightclub for twelve, thirteen, fourteen <laughs> years, body body shots have been had in the kitchen. That's that's yeah. happened. Yeah. But being in the legislature sounds awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean that's you know, they're uh they're having they're having a good time. Like, you know, that it makes you wonder why all those stories out of the sun and sand, but maybe they get better now. Like they are rocking and rolling over there. I mean you get your high four. <laughs> And you get high, you know, you know it's yeah. great. And you got and, and you got lobbyists um, doing wild things. Like, yeah. could, could, hey, you know what? I saw a, I saw a picture of the girl. Yeah, so I mean, did I. she's a solid ten. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's a solid ten. So there's that. You know, so it takes a little game to talk a solid ten into doing some shenanigans like that. Yeah, it was a pretty good move on that guy. I mean, how much does a Louis cost? Yeah. Like thirty five hundred bucks, four thousand yeah. bucks, something I, like that. You know, I've never bought one. Um, if I do, it'll be from China, and nobody will ever know the difference. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I bought some from China before. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just gonna say, I mean, it takes a real closer. True. I mean, I can see why this guy's, you know, supposedly one of the best lobbyists in the state. Yeah. You know, it, it takes a closer. I mean, he's listened to all the Grant Cardone books and everything. And I just wonder, you know, who the legislators were. You know, that that's a, that, that'd be interesting to ever find out. And. I mean, you know, what were the, you know, with all those things yesterday, with all the family values platforms and all that stuff, and then back there doing body shots off a naked waitress. I, was like, I will bet you, beautiful. I will bet you $100 in the studio right now. I know that's illegal, so not really, <laughs> yeah. but it sounds good. Um, that they were Republican. Oh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm guessing. But there isn't that many Democrats left in there anyway, so the but, odds yeah. are good. They're probably some of the ones that, that transferred over from being Democrats to Republicans because they knew. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm joking about that. Let me just be honest. Um, Maybe they're barstool conservatives like like myself, and frankly, none of this is frowned upon. No, well, I mean, if you were elected legislator and somebody was like Clay Edwards is back in some room, doing, I'd be like, yeah, okay, that's cool. I'm still voting for him. But you know, but if it's some guy that's going all like, I love Jesus twenty seven percent more than my opponent, then I'd have a problem with that guy doing it. Yeah, you know I, that guy. 
Absolutely. Look, man, I don't want to ever be anybody's moral compass. <laughs> yeah. But you've never, you're not proclaiming yourself no, to be well, that. Well, exactly. That's what you I'm know, I mean, like, you, you get what you get. That's kind of like what we're talking about Donald Trump. I don't know that he's ever really said that he's like the moral compass of the world or anything like that. And, um, but I think there's a lot of politicians that get out there and talk about how, you know, how much they love Jesus and, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And then they're, you know, they outdo, they get caught doing that's what, that's what causes them problems. It's like, you know, it's hypocrisy and the whole thing. And, and uh, so I'm guessing I, it'd be interesting to know if that was, uh, if that so, was so I'm guessing at some point, the only thing that's going to make this a legal, a legal issue mm-hmm. is the fact that he bought this person and claimed it as fraud on the, on the company credit card. I would think that would, yeah, I think that would be a problem. Yeah, if that's so, true. Yeah. So we'll we'll keep y'all posted on this and I'm, let let our let our local sleuths begin doing their investigating. I'm sure we'll get calls about it today now that it's been put out there because we were talking about this last night. Should we discuss it? We've heard it from everybody, so it feels like it's a pretty good topic. And uh, I'm sure some people are going to call us and tell us more to it. And you know, maybe who was there? If anyone wants to call, let us know who was there. We're interested in to know that. So yeah, like y'all can text me all you want. I'm not telling y'all where it was or any details. I know y'all don't ask for the picture of the girl either. And right. I know y'all want to get invited to the party because Clay and I really like to go to the next one. If the, whenever the legislators get together, please call us because I want to go. You're gonna. There's going to need to be some witnesses. Yeah, just let us go, and then we won't talk about that on the radio. We promise. <laughs> we will not talk about it if we can come to these parties. In, in closing, on this whole body shots and lobbyist thing. Yeah. Uh, Fun somebody, times at the Capitol. More, more than one person just confirmed uh, exactly who it was. And, and, <laughs> yeah. and he's in the I, – I don't know if it's this year's or last year's, but he made this little top 50 – list that we were just talking about yep i guess well he probably earned it hey he clearly I mean, he, did he did that he's kind of look we're not hating on this guy i think he's kind of a baller like that's pretty cool to to be able to pull that off you know i think that's a, i'm sorry i was backed away i think he's kind of that's cool to pull that off to be able to pull that off uh, yeah, yeah it's a funny story after 15 12 15 years in the bar business it's a funny story for me i'm not i'm not mad i'm I mean, not mad i mean they're you know it's tough being the capital all day, you know, going through all these bills and dealing with everybody. You got to, you know, got to let loose. Yeah, can't, can't hate that. I mean, look, I'm gonna let loose tonight. Yeah, I mean, and and, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, right? Exactly. I, I mean, know. I saw the brewery was having like hamburger food truck, and I I told my buddy, I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to that. Like, yeah. it's just yeah. So I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I get it. Let, you I, know, if the legislators like to do body shots and pass, you know, really conservative bills, hey, do what you want. I may have to let loose a little Sunday to get over the letting loose from tonight and tomorrow. That generally happens. <laughs> that generally happens. All right. Let, let's jump into the into this uh, state of disunion. 